Hi folks, today we're going to talk a little bit about creating an Aeon wallet. So if you watched my previous video, you've learned how to set up a node on your own system, uh, and that's great and all, but the next step is to actually create a wallet so that you can start doing things with Aeon. So uh, as you recall, we've got our Aeon D software, uh, and if you watched the previous video, you've already got your blockchain updated, you're ready to go. So uh, in case you don't have it running already, just go ahead and open up Aeon D and it's gonna start doing its thing. Okay, so we got this nice happy little message here saying you are now synchronized with the network. You may now start Simple Wallet. All right, so at this point, you're running your own local node. So we're gonna literally open up the Simple Wallet app and we're gonna make a new wallet. <clears throat> so, Running simple wallet uh, is pretty simple, but first thing we want to do is actually open up a command prompt window uh, inside of this Aeon directory. Not super difficult. The key is to hold down shift on your keyboard, right click in this window here, and go to open PowerShell window here. Now, if you're running an earlier version of Windows 10, that might say open command prompt window here or something along those lines. That's fine. It's basically the same thing. Um, for our purposes anyway, it's it's totally the same thing. So uh, you'll notice here, this is showing us our current directory. So C, users, misfit, desktop, Aeon. So basically this path here corresponds with uh, literally this Aeon folder here on the desktop. So this window is in here. So just in case you're not familiar with how command prompt stuff works. So we're going to start simple wallet. So you can do that just by typing the first couple characters of simple and pushing tab to autocomplete to simplewallet.exe. Look, this is amazing. You're getting a little crash course in using Aeon and a crash course in uh, command prompt. You're welcome. So now go ahead and press enter. And OK, specify wallet file name. So you can call your wallet whatever you want. Um, since this is just a little test, I'm just going to call mine misfits-01. Enter. This wallet doesn't exist. Generating new one. Okay, so you need to specify a password for your wallet. So use a password that only you know. And All right. Now, if you notice here, there's a couple of really, really important things. So first of all, it's saying, okay, we generated a new wallet. There's the view key. It's been generated, blah, blah, blah. Now, this is the really, really important part. Please note the following 24 words can be used, blah, blah, blah. So these 24 words, write them down on paper. Seriously, do that right now. Do it twice. Make two copies of it. The reason this is important is these are the words that you need to have if you lose your wallet or if it gets stolen or anything like that. If you have these words, you can regenerate your wallet, okay? These words will let you regenerate the all-important private key that basically is your wallet. So keep these on paper, keep them somewhere outside of where you live, you know, leave a copy with your parents or a close friend or whatever. In case of emergency, you can always regenerate your wallet with these words and you can always get your money back. So super, super important. Go ahead and do that. So um, at this point, you're basically done. Now you'll notice here, um, it's generated three different files. So there's three different misfit-01 files here. Now, this .keys file, this is the all important private key. The contents of this are essentially your wallet. So keep this under your control. Put it on a flash drive, keep it somewhere safe, make a backup copy if you want on like a CDR or whatever, a couple of flash drives, whatever you want. If you really don't give a shit, just leave it on your computer. It doesn't really matter, but um, control it. You know, th this is it. This, this is literally as close as it gets to physical currency. Keep that. Now, the dot address file, that's basically the public key. So I'll just open this up. So if you notice this nice little string, this is the public address of your Aeon wallet. So this is the address that you will give to somebody if they're going to send you Aon. It's also the number you would plug into an exchange um, if you wanted to transfer Aon 
from your exchange account into your private wallet. So that's your that's your wallet address. This you can you can make public, no big deal. Keep a copy of it in your email, keep it in iCloud, keep you know, wherever. I keep it in iCloud just so I can really easy copy and paste it in this stuff. Um, this other one, I'm not exactly sure what it is. Don't really matter, but just keep it there. Um, so that's basically it. Now, when you're in this interface here, you're actually using the Simple Wallet application and it's saying you've got this wallet open. Um, you can say fresh to update the status of the wallet. It'll go through and check the current balances of the wallet. And it's doing this by talking to the node. So you'll notice I left the node software running. Whenever you run the wallet, you need to have the node software running. Again, it's like client server, right? So the node is the server, the wallet is the client. So the node is talking to all the other nodes in the network. Your wallet only talks to the node. So that's a good thing kind of for security control, whatnot. Um, anyway, if I had perhaps transferred some Aon to this wallet, after doing this refresh, uh, that balance would show up. Uh, in this particular case, it won't. It's a brand new wallet. I haven't sent it any Aon. So um, anyway, it's just going to come up here and just say, yeah, balance is zero, whatever. Um, if you want to actually send currency, um, well, I'm not quite sure how to do that. So let's just type help. All right. Well, there we go. That's pretty simple. Uh, you can literally just do transfer. So notice how this says transfer here. So the command is transfer the mix-ins, which are optimal or sorry, optional, um, the address and the amount. So if you want to transfer Aon to somebody, it's as simple as saying transfer, and then you copy and paste in their public address. I'll just use mine just to save a little time. And then uh, you know the amount of Aon that you want to transfer, 10. Uh, so that's how you would actually do a transfer. It's kind of that simple. Um, anyway, um, that's a quick little overview. Um, you can exit out of this little shell by saying exit and it will actually close out of the wallet and that's all good. And again, uh, remember when you're using your Aon node, if you don't want to run it all the time, it does use a fair bit of memory. Um, when you close it, just say exit and that'll actually store the blockchain. And when you're done, it'll close up. That's it. It's not too bad, huh? Cool. Thanks for watching.